Oh, to be held like a little American bullfrog. Welcome, everyone. I hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back over here in checking out all the lovely new exhibit animal upgrades. So, we have a lot of different things to check out in terms of all these exhibit animals. Uh, so, we have a lot of different animals that can use the exhibit uh, presenter, kind of like animal talk points, and we have a lot that can't so i'm just gonna put a picture up here uh just so you guys can actually see the animals that can use it and the animals that cannot use it um yeah it's very interesting they can either be held by two hands which we'll see in a little bit with some examples we could see some that are only held with one hand and we can also see some that are held on the back uh so we're just going to jump into all these right now feel free to pause the video back there to check these out but we could see that the new Crested Newt can actually be held with one hand. There are some minor issues with clipping, but I hope Frontier will be able to fix that up soon enough. Uh, they essentially just pull whatever poses they were doing inside the habitat and essentially allow them to do that wherever the anchor point is on the keeper. So we could actually see that some animals will stand on the back of keepers. Uh, which is very interesting. That's going to be super awesome to see how that comes into play. But we could see the little poster child. We have the little uh, Diamondback Terrapin right here. And it's very interesting. So moving throughout here, we can see all these different examples. I kind of set up the zoo perfect for everyone. The Titan Beetle is pretty big. I'd be kind of freaked out about that. But this is super interesting. Just have these little scorpions on these people. I find that super awesome. And look at this big boy right here. Oh my gosh, I'd love to handle him. Now, of course, the way to set this up is by putting one of your animal talk points right over here. So let's just say I set one up for these guys. And let's just say we could actually set that up for the Goliath Bird Eater, of course, for, let's say, November should be close enough. Now, if we link some seating up over here, we could actually have guests sit down for these talks. So you could actually confirm these just like the... Um, how do you say it? Just like the restaurants. And then we go over here to work zones and we just bring that right in the same work zone as everyone else. And then we should be able to see that happen relatively soon. So I'm going to fast forward time a little bit. We're just going to push time forward right now just so that we could actually see these guys take place at this talk point. And hopefully we could actually see them use the uh, standing oh no they aren't using it that is quite a shame uh yeah i still haven't had the chance to really work with this all too much uh i think we can't oh can we close it and then do that okay so that is just very weird in that case not sure what's happening there but i'm sure if you guys play around with it a little bit you guys will be able to figure that out now of course there will be mods coming out relatively soon that will allow you to have animals that aren't normally supposed to be held like that allowed to be held like that so for example we could have it with the fruit bats and stuff like that that'd be super fun to see uh so going back to these exhibit boxes i do want to talk quickly about some of the new customizability of these guys so you can see that we are able to add new walls and stuff like that uh, we should probably talk about these these are going to function very much like billboards so in case if you do let me just pause time very quickly awesome uh in case if you guys do have any webms or anything like that uh stored in here you could actually link them up to kind of act as little background things over here uh excuse some of the stuff in here i have some pretty funny stuff in here but um no it's going to be very interesting to see what you guys are able to achieve with that i have some like koi pond ones i used from before I have some of the merch ones from the gift shop pack, and I also have some of these beautiful little murals, which all fit perfectly. I think that's going to be very awesome to see that all come into play. And I do want to see if we are able to do this again. Can we cancel that? Um, it seems like I am not able to change that out. Am I able to move that right there? Am I able to move that right there? Seating areas. Yeah, link the seating, please. Hold on. Let me, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> that does uh, allow us to force our guests to kind of sit down in that case. So let's fast forward over to March, April. So let's see if that will actually work. And yes, our guests will now flood over here. 
to sit down for a keeper talk, which I think is going to be the coolest thing in the world. Uh, I really can't wait to see what you guys build with all that kind of stuff. And you can actually see that our keeper is coming over here, not keeper, but educator. Uh, and they will pull out that handy dandy little spider or tarantula. I hope you guys aren't offended by that. Uh, but you can see that right there. And that's just super funky. And you can see them all kind of like interacting with that show over there. We have a lot of these stuff kind of like, you know, animal shows and zoos around me. So it really is super awesome just to see all that come into play. But that's really it right there. And we should probably talk about population management. So everything is going to happen in this little tab right over here. And in order to get it to work, you just simply trigger uh, manage population. And that's going to allow this system to work. So let's just say, for example, you are working with these tarantulas and you only want one of each sex in at all times. Uh, that's going to be super easy to do. You just change it to one or let's just say you want 10 males at one time. You could easily do that, but let's just stay with one right over here. You can process them by either moving them into the trade center, selling them for cash or releasing them to the wild for conservation credits. Those are little leaf things down there right over there. So let's just say, for example, you're trying to set up a breeding farm. You could just do sell for cash for the males and you could also do different ones for the females. So you could release those to the wild. So you get like a very good spread between the two. And you can also prioritize animals by age, appeal or cash. So if you guys are trying to breed for the best animals, you could prioritize a no, you could prioritize appeal. And you could sell the lowest first, which I think is going to be super awesome just to see that come into play. So you guys could easily manage to breed out like some of the best populations in the game. Now, I believe that should actually be it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is going to be super awesome to see you guys kind of use this in your own zoos and really make the best keeper talks out there and really help bring these exhibits to life. It's super awesome just to see all this come into play. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was able to help. If I didn't answer all of your questions, please post them down in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. And just like these guys, I'm leaving right now too. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.